Is the District of Columbia more dangerous during your tenure? We are facing, as cities um, in police departments around the country, less interest um, in joining police Why departments. Why do you think that is? Do you think I that think our police that officers have been demonized because of the rhetoric that is flowing from this city and many other cities across our nation? I think that policing is a tough job. Um, I would and agree. And it's, it's a job that has grown uh, tougher uh, over the years. Particularly, he, when do you think it, it became more tough? Maybe when they were attacked for doing their jobs? Here. Well, so this is, this is how we get police. the police signs around District of Columbia and advocating for this? I is, didn't advocate is incentivizing. to defund the police. I'm seeing that crime is up, violent crime is up, homicides are up, police funding is down, police recruitment is down. Every day uh, we approach the any vexing issue in our city. But you know exactly what you need to make Washington, D.C. safer. You know that you need more police officers. You know that you, you need more funding. You that. know that you need policies that allow law-abiding law citizens. Thank you, citizens. Thank you, ma'am. It's my time. Law-abiding citizens to be able to protect themselves in their own home and defend them. Ms. You Bobart, know it, it sounds and like you wanted you to be a part of the culture statement. war of the BLM 2020 yeah. riots it rather than protecting like and defending the police and the statement. citizens in Washington, D.C.